Hello friends, welcome to BISPTrainings.com. My name is Sumit and I'm a subject matter expert in Salesforce. So this video is about the advanced development in Salesforce and uh, I'm going to demonstrate you how to integrate Salesforce with Dropbox. As you know that Dropbox is an online cloud storage and I would like to integrate my Salesforce with Dropbox so that from within an object or by clicking on a record we can store the files which are associated with a specific record or within an object. So the very first thing to, to do this integration you should have your developers account you should have uh, or you have a proper authorization for it then only the, uh, the integration would be possible with Dropbox. So let's see how can we do that. So for this I will switch to and I'm going to log in by using developers account. So let me log in first. So by using developers account, my developers account I have successfully logged in and then I click on app exchange. From this app exchange I will be going to install down Dropbox and uh, this will help us to integrate Dropbox with our Salesforce. So I applied a filter and I search for Dropbox for Salesforce. So we have this Dropbox for business or Dropbox for Salesforce is same thing. So I click on this one Dropbox. Then click on get it now. Get it now. It may take some time to load. So if you have already logged in because we can access this app exchange directly as well but because I have already accessing this app exchange by logging into my Salesforce so I can simply say login into the app exchange by using the Salesforce credentials or you can uh, go with this option as well that you don't have a login continue as a guest so I'll go with the first option. The next step you have to do is where would you like to install this? So I would like to continue in, to install this in a production or in a sandbox. So I'll just click on install in production. There are a couple of details you can verify the details. It will be installing in the organization that's the organization edition is developer that's my username and the duration I'm using it does not expire subscription is free and so on accept the agreement click on confirm and stall so it will take some time to install the Dropbox with your current subscription it may ask you to log in again so I'll just log in again and it will be installing the package now the next would you like to give this package access to for the admin or for all users? So I'll say or we can specify for a specific profile as well. So in a specific profile we have to we, we have an option to set the profile. So for example I want to make it available only for a recruiter profile or for marketing user or for administrator we can do that. I'll select this for all profile. I would like that all the users those who are uh, those who can access my application those who can work my on within my application they would be able to work or they would be able to use this Dropbox. So I click on install. Yes, continue. So you can see it will be installing and granting access to all users so that all users, all the users in an organization, all the registered users in an organization, they would be able to access this Dropbox from any object, from the object to which we are going to associate it to with or to which we are going to bind it. So I got a message that installation has been completed. 
click on done and it will redirect us back to the install package information it says that this is a current package which has been installed just now if you want to uninstall it we have an option to uninstall it so after the installation is done successfully now the next step is I would be going to add this drop box to the standard or the custom object so in this scenario I'm going to add this drop box to my account object so for that uh, so that I would like to store the details or the data related with my records I would like to store them online so I click on accounts then click on setup customize look for accounts because we would like to customize the account layout so click on account and layout so page layouts page layouts and uh, this is the default one account layout so I edit this layout edit this layout so we'll be going to add a section first of all so after the detail section I drop I drag and drop a section let's say after customer priority and before the related list so I'll just drag and drop the section here and I'll give a name as Dropbox one column section is sufficient okay so it's a one column section Dropbox then we'll switch to visual force pages and you see we have an option called a new section has been added name a new visual force page has been added name that Dropbox for account so I drag and drop this Dropbox for account within this Dropbox section And then I select the properties of this Dropbox and with his 100% I set this to height is in 400% show scroll bar and don't want to show label but I want to show I want to add a scroll bar so that's the proper section it will appear and finally I will click on save so the layout has been saved the layout is saved now if I click on account if I check account here and look for any record for example Burlington Textile Corporation of America you can see we have a section called Dropbox but it's not linked actually it's not working okay even if it, it, uh, the record is low, it's still loading right now because uh, it's integrated with some ex uh, external solutions external applications so it will take some time to load to look for the connectivity proper authorization but it is not authorized yet it says link Dropbox to Salesforce to share files with your colleague so we can add a file and we can load a file so it's asking for confirmation click on continue so it would be asking for API request authorization so either we can authorize from here this is the one way of authorization when I sign it the authorization will be done another way is we can click on setup see so I click on setup or uh, instead of setting it up I can click on plus customize my tabs and I'm going to add a Dropbox option tab here Dropbox option tab here by default it's not available so I just click on this Dropbox option and the authorization step I will complete here connect to Dropbox so I click on Dropbox connect to Dropbox see as you can see here it's it redirected to the same page continue and sign in invalid email let me mention password again so you should enter your correct Dropbox mail ID and password and it has been connected as with this record with this account for Dropbox if you want to disconnect it we can disconnect it 
standard object setting accounts as at campaign so it will be available in all forms custom object settings dropbox for business so if one user is connected total space is used and upgrade we can try it free as well so there are some uh, there are some settings for the dropbox so we are not going to touch anything here i simply click on accounts and click on burlington textile corporation of america click on the record open that record and i'm going to drop a file so i click on add files because it has been integrated now the authorization has been done so it straight forward it opened this link to upload a file so either we can drag and drop a file or we can choose a file to upload it so for example i am going to upload a file let's say uh, salesforce for outlook installation and user guide or something like this any file okay uh, let's suppose i'll go for people soft virtual box image so i click on this it's a pdf file it will take some, we can add more files onto it so it will be uploading and then it will give us an option done so you can see the file has been uploaded successfully and it's i'm getting a message here done so when i click on done the file has been uploaded now we can verify our dropbox account so let me get to my dropbox account so i'm going to verify within my dropbox account and you can see here my dropbox account has already logged in so i'm using the same account so i'm getting one folder here salesforce document so when i open the salesforce document under the salesforce document accounts and the file which we loaded just now and this file is associated with this record burlington textile corporation of america because this file using the people saw virtual box image something this file is associated with this record so whenever we upload a file it automatically create a folder using the account name or contact details and when we open it we can see the file here that's the file and then we can share it or we can download it so that's how we can integrate the salesforce with our dropbox account so that's all in this video i hope you enjoyed this video if that's so don't forget to press like button you can subscribe our youtube channel for more videos on salesforce mainly the integration part because from next couple of videos we'll be going to only talk about integration in salesforce with different different applications by using various applications if you have any comments you can post your comments in our comment box or you can connect with us for the customized training on salesforce keep watching have a nice day goodbye